ITER, the biggest science collaboration in history, aims to prove that carbon-free fusion energy can be produced on an industrial scale. It will do this by creating and controlling a miniature sun inside a device called a tokamak. The tokamak will rely on three unique, powerful electromagnets to spark and control a plasma, or ionized gas. At the very center is a five-story, 1,000-ton superconducting magnet known as the central solenoid, or the heart of ITER. Its chief job is to induce and maintain a powerful electric current in the plasma that will result in energy-producing fusion reactions. This happens through a carefully orchestrated sequence of steps. First, electric current is fed through the outer coils to create magnetic fields that will help shape the plasma. Next, a current fed through the central solenoid is gradually increased over several minutes to 40 kiloamps. As the current increases, it creates a growing magnetic field. Next, it's time to add the fuel, a few grams of deuterium and tritium gas. When that gas is heated up by a strong pulse of microwaves, it breaks down into charged particles to become a plasma. Just like a wire, lightning, or other conductor, plasma can carry a current. Now is the central solenoid's big moment. A lot happens, quickly and simultaneously. But here we'll show one thing at a time. First, tokamak operators rapidly reduce the central solenoid current. That causes a sudden change in the solenoid's magnetic field, which in turn induces a current in the plasma via electromagnetic force. Transformers transfer electrical energy between circuits the exact same way in power lines. Operators maintain the plasma current by continuously changing the solenoid current and its magnetic field, more slowly now, for several minutes. More heat is added to the plasma until deuterium and tritium ions have enough energy to collide and form helium a reaction that releases huge amounts of energy. By demonstrating that we can use fusion to generate abundant power, ITER will help pave the way for the carbon-free fusion power plants of tomorrow.